Hey guys, it's Tommy with Harmony. So the other night, Daniel and I were here, end of the day, listening to some records, and we put on this original pressing of Houses of the Holy, and it was filthy, very crackly, um, dirty. The record was just flat out dirty. So we decided we wanted to do a few cleaning methods and see if we could revive it. Now Daniel has an ultrasonic record cleaner, which we're gonna try out. I also have an Akinaki, which is a vacuum based record cleaner. So we're gonna try each method. We're gonna listen to this record as is, then we're going to clean it with the vacuum method. Listen again, see what we get, see what happens. Then we're going to do the ultrasonic cleaning and see if we can in fact revive this old record. We'll see what happens. Nasty. You can actually see how bad it is. Yep. Like mildew too. Yeah, it probably does. Mold, mildew, dirt, ground in. Akinaki, which is a, it's got a vacuum with soft brushes. We got the cleaning fluid that they provide to get the big stuff off. Looks clean. Triton X100, two milliliters per gallon is what I use. Uh, I'll just eyeball this. Isopropyl. Well, it needs a rest. So you can see the water now after cleaning 25 records or so, how much grime and dirt came off of them. Tell us about this machine first, Daniel. Okay, first of all, not very fancy. It's just an industrial ultrasonic cleaner that has been adapted to clean records by Vivor. Vivor. So what's ultrasonic mean exactly in this regard? What is it doing? Uh, high frequency sound waves, um, transducer, vibrates the water and the water gets warm too right yeah it has a has a heater so you got a heater gets the water warm as well as the not warm enough to melt the records but warm enough to help with the cleaning process um so we have a detergent triton x100 is some kind of pharmaceutical grade detergent that leaves very little residue if any at all okay doesn't take much and then uh, how long does the record stay in there to get clean, typically? Typically, 15 minutes to a half an hour is good enough. You can do it longer if you want. I find that half an hour is a good time. It works. Half an hour? Yeah, for most. So. All right. Ultrasonically cleaned. Let's see what happens. Thank you. 
So we found out that if a record's permanently damaged, no matter how well you clean it, you can't get everything out. You heard with the last listen that it is a little scratchy still. Better than it was, but it's got permanent damage. But we happen to have, Daniel has a remastered repressing of the same album, Houses of the Holy, and we want to give it a listen too, because it is a little different with the remastering. So let's drop the needle. So we got some of these rice paper static free record sleeves. So for two reasons. One, it's a better way to store than the paper. The paper usually that comes with a record will scratch it over time. It'll hold dirt. Static will also hold dirt, which then scratches your records. So these being static free <clears throat> and a better paper to store them in is why we added these. Also, that way we know which records we've already cleaned. So as we're going through this process and cleaning more records, we will know, oh, that one's already been cleaned. Um, this one in particular is a 1960s pressing, 69, I believe. Uh, Jimi Hendrix, Are You Experienced? Original pressing. This one really came out great after it got ultrasonically cleaned, which is awesome to like go hear these original masters the way they were intended. But there you go. <laughs> we were able to clean a lot of records these especially here in this stack some of them from the 60s some of them from the 70s 80s original pressings came out beautiful and despite not getting houses of the holy clean this led zeppelin 2 original pressing came out amazing <laughs> 